Hello my dear friends, I am Navuni Bhattacharya of class 3A from Birla High School. On this special occasion of Ganesh Chaturthi, I have written a story for my dearest friend Ganpati Bappa. The story got published in bookosmia.com. The name of the story is My Strange Encounter with Lord Ganesha. Here goes the story. Come on, eat fast, said my mother. The next day was Ganesh Chaturthi and it was two hours before midnight. We were very sad as due to COVID-19, everything in my hometown, Mumbai, was restricted, including Ganesh Chaturthi. But it is only 10 p.m., I grumbled. Mama, could you please let me watch some TV? I want to watch Ganesha to the rescue as tomorrow we can't go for pandal hopping. You said that and let me at least watch him on the TV. My siblings came in and said, we will watch too as we are also very sad. So, ma mother said, okay, tomorrow is a holiday, so I will not object. But uh, after the movie finishes, you will have to come back to bed. So, we laid down on the sofa come bed and started watching the television. Nearly half an hour had passed when we heard a mouse squeak. We knew that there were no mouse in our house. So, my elder brother Rakesh, I and my sister Ruhani went to the balcony. And to our greatest of surprise, what did we see there? Someone with an elephant head and a human body was standing with a mouse. It was Lord Ganesha. Look, the mouse squeaked. Lord Ganesha, why have you come here? Lord Ganesha said. Mouse, listen. Some good boys from, boys and girls from this house were very sad as my birthday Ganesh Chaturthi has been cancelled in Mumbai. I am going to heal their pain. The mouse squeaked in shock. But Lord Ganesha, you know that no almighty God from the heaven can show his real appearance to the mortals living in the earth. Lord Ganesha said, you are right mouse, but I can't object because those children are my angels. And if I up and if I don't go to their house, they will feel very sad. The mouse said, I understand, Lord. You can go in. Rakesh, my elder brother, said, I think we should go out and bring Lord Ganesha in. So I went out and asked humbly, Lord Ganesha. It would be a greatest honor if you come in and spend some time with us. To our surprise, what did Lord Ganesha do? Lord Ganesha said, Oh no, why did you hear us? I must have listened to Mother Durga. Now she, now as you have heard us, I am feeling shy. I won't come with you. We were shocked to see Lord Ganesha behaving this way. My sister, Ruhani started to kill, but stopped when I hit her and said, Don't embarrass Lord Ganesha. He's all, he's uh, so embarrassed now. Suddenly, the mouse started to scold Lord Ganesha. Lord, what? What are you? I can't believe you are speaking like this. You are the general of your father's goodness army and now you are behaving like this. Lord Ganesha said, you are right mouse, I don't 
think I should behave this way. So he said, okay, let me come in with you, but don't embarrass me again. So he came in, sat down on the sofa come bed. He worked some Ganesha to the rescue, had some modak and laddu and curd, and then went to sleep for an hour. He woke up from his quick nap and said, Now could you please tell me what is hurting you so much? I said, Lord Ganesha, this coronavirus or COVID-19 is like Mahisasura. He is destroying the mankind. He, see, your birthday has been cancelled and we are so, so sad. We can't go to play, we can't meet our friends, we can't invite guests, we can't go for holidays. Life has become so monotonous. Lord Ganesha listened carefully and then nodded and said, Right you are, but can't you think of any way of hope? I have heard some scientists and doctors are spending day and night not caring for their lives but caring for the mankind, making medicines and vaccines. Now it is the time for devatas and the mankind to mix up and fight this demon type virus. It is killing the mankind but you always know that positive will always win against the negative. Hearing this, my sister Ruhani started to cry and by saying that there will be no festival this year. She said that, Lord Ganesha, but if there is no festival, I will be heartbroken. Lord Ganesha said, you are absolutely right that my words are hurting you. But this year you have to sacrifice so that in the future you can celebrate my birthday again happily and joyfully without any coronavirus. You should mix up with the gods, with devatas or cancelling our own birthday celebrations just to protect the mankind. I said, you are right Lord Ganesha. I know how it feels. Lord Ganesha, as my own birthday has been cancelled this year, a birthday cake was made which was with Wait, and I had a little birthday celebration only, nothing else. No one was invited. I said, we will always support the devtas and we will always know that coronavirus one day will end. As positive always wins over negative. Lord Ganesha said, you have understood what I mean. You, you will always be in the path of good. Now, he blessed us, blessed us and said, I can't hear a squeak in our top. I can't understand where my mouse went. So, he looked back and to our great surprise, we saw that when we were talking, mouse was having a sound sleep. Lord Ganesha said, Oh no, he always speaks. He always sleeps while I am speaking. So he shook the mouse and woke him up. Come on, it's time to go back to heaven. So we let them out and we waved them goodbye from the balcony. Now they went away to heaven. Suddenly I and all my siblings found out that our heartbrokenness, sadness has gone away. We prayed to Lord Ganesha. Thank you, Lord Ganesha.